If you're lucky to have an empath in your life, here are a few things you should know about them. Hi, I'm Karen Katz. Welcome back to my channel. This is the place where you discover that being an empath is a gift, not a curse. If you're new here, it is an honor to meet you. I am a certified professional life coach, a speaker for Fortune 500 companies, and a manifestation teacher. And I'm also an empath that has overcome the pattern of codependency, people pleasing, overgiving, and attracting narcissists. And if you want to do the same, make sure you start by subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications so you don't miss one single video that could start shifting things for you powerfully. Today we're talking about seven things you should know about the empaths in your life. So let's get right into it. Number one, empaths have huge hearts. They care about you infinitely. They will always be there to listen to your problems, to help you sort things out. They want to know what's going on with you. They want to be in the loop and they want to be of service. They want to help you in any way they can at whatever cost to them, to their energy, to their well-being. And it is important for you to know that they're human too. Asking them once in a while how they are and what they are going through is extremely important. Number two, empaths love with all their hearts. They love intensely and deeply. They will give their all in relationships, 100%. It's important that you love them honestly and frankly for who they are, not just for what they do for you, but for who they really are. Number three, yes, they are sensitive, highly sensitive. It's how they're wired and it what helps you feel supported and understood when you're in pain and struggling to figure things out. Do not shame them for being the way they are when it's not convenient for you. Number four, they know you're lying. They might not say anything because confrontation is not their strong suit, but deep down, they know. Just be honest with them. Is that too much to ask? Number five, it can be exhausting to always be feeling other people's energy and emotion, to always be listening to everybody's problems. So empaths need time alone to recharge. It's not that they don't enjoy their, your company. It's not anything personal. They care about you deeply and they do not want you to misunderstand that their time alone is just their need to recharge. It's not about you. Number six, their intuition is right on point. Yep, contrary to popular belief, they know what they're talking about. When they say something's up, when they had a dream, when they have a feeling about something, it's important for you to listen, to pay attention because their intuition is on point. Don't make them feel wrong or crazy. Take them seriously. Trust them. And number seven, most importantly, do not confuse their sensitivity for weakness. What they have gone through, what has made them who they are, is a lot more difficult than you can even imagine. I know it might be hard to be as empathetic as the empath in your life is with you, but every so often just show a little bit of empathy a little bit of compassion, a little bit of understanding for the struggles they are going through, for the difficulties in their lives. It takes a lot from an empath to be there, tuning in to your pain, to your sensitivity, and always prioritize your well-being before their own. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Namaste.